Well, later this morning, Governor Cooper will be making a visit to the Piedmont, rallying local residents and doctors for a roundtable discussion on Senate Bill 20. Now, the bill bans abortions after 12 weeks, which is eight weeks earlier than the current state law. It passed the General Assembly last week and is now on the governor's desk. Fox 8's Lauren Crawford is now live at, in Gibsonville ahead of the governor's visit. So, Lauren, what are the governor's plans for the bill? Now, Governor Cooper says that he plans to veto this bill on Saturday, but before then, he needs at least one Republican lawmaker to stand with Republicans to uphold his veto, and that's where today's statewide campaign comes in. Now, he's holding roundtables in counties with Republican representatives he hopes to win over. In addition to a 12-week abortion ban, the bill also includes new regulations, including three in-person consultations a woman has to have with a doctor before an abortion. Those who oppose the bill say the new rules would make it even more challenging for women to meet all the requirements and get an abortion within that time frame. One thing in the bill that both parties are in favor of is the expanded access to child care, including paid leave funding. More than $180 million is set aside for what Republican lawmakers call pro-family funding. It comes as families struggling to find child care say they need help. 77% of voters say it's becoming a serious problem, and they want state lawmakers to do something about it. People are recognizing the benefits of quality child care and they are connecting it to the economy in a way that, again, that we didn't used to see. Now, the bill that now the bill that Republicans uh, passed uh, set aside more than $75 million specifically for child care access. This would include money that would go to low-income children to be able to go and access that child care, as well as an increased payments for adoption and foster care assistance. Now, but again, critics say that these measures should not be tied into a bill that bans abortions as strictly as some believe they do. But again, the governor's roundtable is scheduled to start in Gibsonville at 10:15 this morning, and of course, we'll continue to follow, follow, and bring you new developments. Live in Gibsonville, Lauren Crawford, Fox 8 News.